Ferguson, Missouri is marking the fifth anniversary of the death of Michael Brown Jr. this morning. The unarmed black teenager was shot by a white police officer who says Brown attacked him. A grand jury decided not to indict the officer. Brown's death led to months of protests and drew attention to police practices nationwide. Jeff Begays has been reporting on policing in America five years after Ferguson all week. He's in Ferguson. Jeff, what can we expect today? Well, good morning. Behind me, this is where Michael Brown was shot and killed five years ago. And you can see here in the middle of the street, there is a growing memorial because they will honor his life this weekend with a memorial service. But there will also be calls for justice and continued changes in policing. As you know, earlier this week, we told you about our ongoing investigation, which looked at police practices since Michael Brown's death. Our investigation revealed changes that police departments across America say that they're making to confront possible racial bias. We reached out to more than 150 departments in big cities nationwide and found that 57 percent of those who say they have implicit bias training added it after Ferguson, but most said that they don't have a way to measure its success. We recently sat down with Michael Brown's father, Michael Brown Sr. Policing has changed, in your view, in those five years? So-so. So-so? Yeah. So you don't think there's been enough change? No, it could be more. So clearly he doesn't think that there has been enough change in policing across the country and here in Ferguson. He will have a press conference, and we expect that he will call for his son's case to be reopened. Anthony. Jeff, thanks.